Hey guys, Spirit of the Law here. This video is all about repairing. I've been wondering lately about how efficient it is in terms of resources and time, though since we're on the topic, I thought I'd take a look at a lot of other little things related to repairing as well. General things like how does adding more villagers affect the overall repair rate, and I'll also touch on some of the more specific questions like how many villagers does it take to keep a castle standing that's under fire from a trebuchet. Lots of little things to discuss, so let's check it out. The first thing I was curious about is whether villagers repair a certain percentage of the HP of a building over time, or if they repair a set amount of HP per minute, regardless of the building's maximum HP. If I have a Briton villager repair a town center from half health, a villager repairs 1320 HP in a minute 47, or roughly 740 HP per minute. A Byzantine town center has 720 more HP, so if it takes just as long to repair it from half health as the Britain one, then repair speed is based on the proportion of HP repaired, and if it takes longer, then we know it's a set rate. In this case, it takes 29 seconds longer, and the average rate is the same as the Britain repairer. Again, when I do it with a Japanese town center in the previous age, that same 750-ish HP per minute shows up, so it's definitely looking at this point like a set rate. There is a slight delay in starting the test to wait for a trigger to damage the building in the first place, and it's tough to pause at exactly when they finish repairing, so the values do jump around a tiny bit, but in a much longer test we can see it's really 750. Now, I wondered if it's always 750 HP per minute, or if that changes with bonuses and techs. All the civilizations tested so far don't have treadmill crane, so next I tried it with the Huns, who do have treadmill crane, and thus a small building rate boost, and found that it had no impacts on the repair rate. Same thing for the Spanish and their 30% faster building bonus, so repairing rates look completely independent of building rates. Now this has all been with town centers though, so let's see if it holds for other buildings. I tried it with a castle next, and if the 750-ish HP per minute holds, we'd expect a castle at half strength to be repaired in 3 minutes and 14 seconds. That's exactly what we see. It was the same thing again with fortified walls. Part of why I checked it so many times is 750 seems like a pretty random number. Why not 600 or 1000? That got me wondering about what 750-ish damage per minute actually looks like. It turns out it's a little faster than what two swordsmen or knights can do against a house in the castle age, or a little over a third of the rate a ram takes out a house. Another reason why a static repair rate seemed a bit strange to me is our real life experience tells us that repairing rate should be at least somewhat related to building rate. And one thing you may or may not have realized to this point is that the building rate is not based on an HP per minute relationship. Buildings have a program set time that it takes to build them with one villager. So getting masonry for example and increasing a building's HP by 10% means it takes longer to repair from half health, but it's built in the same predetermined amount of time. To illustrate how large the jump in build rates can be, a house is built in 25 seconds without treadmill crane, and that's enough time to repair 35% of its health in the same amount of time. Whereas a stone wall is made in about 8 seconds and has twice as much HP as the house, so in that case you can only repair it by about 6% in the time it takes to make a new one. For walls especially, the build time is much less than the repair time. From that perspective, it's easy to argue that repairing walls is kind of silly in practice, and if you wanted to put a damaged wall segment back to full strength, it makes much more sense to delete it and replace it rather than micromanage your villager over the next few minutes to repair each segment individually, wasting a ton of villager work time in the process. So far that's all been with one villager, but what happens when you have more than one? Well two villagers do repair faster, but it's not in half the time as one you need three villagers to double your repair rate. That's in line with adding builders to a construction and the diminishing returns, which I looked at in a previous video, though it's not really that each new one is contributing less than the one before. 
and there certainly won't be a point that you have too many repairing villagers. It's more that the first villager is repairing twice as fast as all the others that you add. So as you add more, the average repair rate starts to look more like the average villager's rate than that initial super repairer and his extra large contribution, which gets diluted out when you look at the whole. That also implies if you want to repair multiple buildings faster, split your villagers and repair them in parallel rather than one at a time in series. With just two villagers, it takes 33% longer to repair in series and the difference only increases as you add more. That being said, I also have to point out a lot of the time you won't be repairing buildings since they function just as well when on fire as they do normally and you'd only repair in normal circumstances to save a critical building like a town center, castle or a wonder. Maybe occasionally it makes sense to repair a building that's part of an early wall, but as we've already seen, villagers build much faster than they repair in most cases, so it's more effective to build a new layer behind it than it is to try to repair something that's under attack, if you have the option. So that was everything about repair rate, and now let's take a look at the cost of repairing. Before we get into it too far, I just want to point out this weird thing that happened. I started trying to repair the town center in the last test and didn't have any stone so it wouldn't let me repair it. Having only one stone seemed to fix that problem. I thought that was kind of weird. But now let's look back on those tests that we already saw and instead of looking at the timer, this time let's look at the resources used. Byzantine, Japanese, Han, and Spanish all used 69 wood to repair the half-destroyed town center. Now since town centers cost 275 wood, it looks like the repair cost is half of the cost to build. We would think then that you also need 50 stone to repair it, but apparently that's not the case. Even though you need it to start, it doesn't take stone to repair a town center. I also found it a little odd that the Britons spent the same amount to repair the town center, since their town centers are normally cheaper, but that bonus does not appear to apply to repairing. That same pattern of costing half as much to repair as to build holds true for castles and wonders as well. So you always have the satisfaction of knowing that you've saved resources by repairing instead of demolishing and rebuilding. Though that's a bit misleading, since if we factor in the lost income, we realize the villager could have collected almost 100 resources while the other one was busy trying to save you 4 stone. Now let's take a look at a real world repairing scenario of a trebuchet attacking a castle. Working out the number of villagers isn't quite as simple as looking at a trebuchet's damage output and dividing by 750, because as you add more repairing villagers, it gives the appearance at least of the individual contributions decreasing. So using some info from some previous tests, we can work out that the repair rate is about 380 plus 368 times the number of villagers used. In reality, it's probably 375 plus 375 times the number of villagers used, but either way, it'll give an answer in the same ballpark. A trebuchet with siege engineers does about 3000 damage per minute to a castle with masonry, and if we put that into our formula, we get 7 villagers. As a general rule, 6 villagers are able to repair a castle faster than a trebuchet without siege engineers can take it down, and you need 7 villagers to keep it alive for each trebuchet with siege engineers. Remember though, you can't just double that if there's two trebuchets because the first villager is working double. So 14 villagers repairing a castle against two trebuchets will slowly lose health over time. As a general rule to remember though, 7 villagers per trebuchet is in the ballpark and you're usually safe doing that. Of course, that's subject to change depending on other factors though, and it's more like 5 if your castle is uphill and 9 if you're downhill, and against Japanese trebuchets it's more like 10. If you're really curious about a particular case, you can always just go in the scenario editor and figure out how much damage something is doing per minute to a building and then put that in either formula. The other thing to remember here is that while you are getting a half price discount on repairing a building rather than creating a new one from scratch, you're still pouring resources into a building that you've already paid for. In this particular example, after three and a half minutes, I've already spent the amount of stone repairing as it would have cost to build a whole new castle from scratch. Bombard cannons are pretty similar to trebuchet numbers, minus one villager since they do about three quarters of the damage a trebuchet does, and sea trams are pretty similar to trebuchets. Now what about repairing ships? As it turns out, they repair at a constant rate of 186 HP per minute, which is a quarter of the speed that they repair buildings. Though we see the same pattern of costing half as much to repair from one HP as to build a new one. 
Interestingly, that is affected by the dry dock tech as well to save you a bit of wood, even though the Britons bonus didn't seem to help with their town centers. That's also the same rate that siege units are repaired at, again a quarter of the speed of building HP, which is not to imply that it's less significant, since buildings have much more HP to begin with than siege and ships. Just because this is probably the closest I'll ever be to the topic, in case you're wondering about visually identifying damage and the fire animation, it works by splitting the HP into quarters, so nothing too crazy is going on there. Also, I've always wondered at which point town centers and castles ungarrison their villagers, and it turns out it's when they're lower than 20% HP, so just after they go into their most intense flames. I think that's everything related to repairing. If I miss something, let me know, and I'll put it in my next answering comments video. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.